Hey, what's up, Randy? Uh, this is going to be a quick demo video for you. I'm going to go over a single Raxus Star Killer with Gothmaster chassis. Although you know, I did a lot of or a batch of 15 of them for you, so they will all work exactly the same as these. Uh, they're all set up the same. They're all wired the same. Several progress pictures on my page and then I shared most of those with you as well. All right, so we'll go over my desk, take a look at this and we'll get these out in the mail to you. Thanks. What's up, Randy? So this is a quick demo video for your Raxus batch. I'm just gonna do the one. I know that you're very familiar with this Sabre by now, but I just like to do these anyway. So, as you know, all of these are installed with the Goth Master chassis. I put real quartz crystals in all of them right here. Um, these ones um, are a little bit different from the first batch that I did for you because they have the crystal chamber add-on in the back. So, all made out of brass. You can see it right there. Still two button setups. So, power up front, auxiliary in the back. Your shadow foil props, lit PCBs in there. Your blade retention is underneath this guy. So you would unscrew this to get to that little grub screw right there. And then of course is your blade retention, okay? And we'll screw that back on. You've got your sliding window right here. So you can just slide this down to expose your second crystal chamber and your kill switch right here. Just flip it over to the left. And of course, you can slide that back into place. For now, these have twist on on all the sabers so that I could test the chassis before I connected them to the cores. But of course, you can see your spinning plasma gate right here, your main crystal going solid. And of course, I've got this one kind of going back and forth. All right, slide that back. Your PCBs all light up there. They've also got twist off, or you can come over here, of course, and use the power button, right? Auxiliary right here. These do take seven eighths inch blades. I'll just put one in here real quick. Up. I probably should have unscrewed that blade retention, but I forgot my Allen key, so we just did it like that. All right, we'll come over here and slide this back down and flip it off from here. That little greebly right there. Slide this back, and then we'll take the handle off. Simply unscrews. I did go through on all 15 of these, put a little bit of thread grease on the threads. You can kind of see it right there. I did that to all of them just to take the squeakiness out and make it a little bit easier to take on and off. Okay, but of course that is your chassis right here. You can see your board right there. This piece will need to slide off. It's, on, it's held on first with a press fit and you've got two magnets here and two magnets here, but this back piece will slide off that will give you access to your SD card and your micro USB. And that's also how you take the batteries out. You can't do that until you take this back piece off and then you could push the battery from right there. All right. Um, yeah. This little piece on all of them moves up or down, held on with magnets. So you could go either way if you like, just depending on what your customers would like. All right. We can flip it on from here, of course. Or flip it off. Now put the handle back on. And when you screw it all the way down, the brass rod here on the handle should line up right in between these two bars for the crystal chamber, thereby centering your secondary chamber. All right. But that is basically, we'll slide this guy back up right into place. But that's basically how you work all these Raxus Sabres. Um, let me know if you have any questions, if you make it this far in the video, and I will get these out in the mail to you tomorrow. Thanks.